The Samsung S26 Ultra is reportedly set to feature a larger battery, according to a recent leak. This model will break a long-standing tradition by boasting a battery capacity greater than 5,000 mAh. It seems that Samsung is finally considering moving beyond the 5,000 mAh battery barrier that has constrained its Galaxy flagships for years. The latest information suggests that the S26 Ultra will have the largest battery seen in a major Samsung phone for quite some time. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to arrive with a 5,200 mAh battery, surpassing the long-utilized 5,000 mAh capacity. The leak indicates that while the S26 Ultra will continue the trend of becoming lighter and more compact than its predecessors, it will also finally feature a larger battery. Additionally, previous reports have suggested that the S26 Ultra will offer improved charging rates of 60 watt fast charging. This enhancement, along with increased battery capacity, is quite promising. Although it may seem like a modest upgrade, it suggests that Samsung is taking into account the aspects that truly matter. This is particularly important in light of the reported battery specifications of the foldable iPhone. Samsung has been utilizing 5 thousand milliamp hours batteries on its ultra phones for so long that fans began giving up hope of ever seeing an improvement this year apple caught up to samsung's battery capacity with the iphone 17 pro max there is a pretty high likelihood that the sole reason that the s26 ultra will have a bigger battery is because samsung will do just enough to keep ahead of apple after all it does appear like only apple drives samsung's innovation i also think that the s26 edge which might or might not be canceled undoubtedly contributed to the design of the S26 Ultra. Samsung has, according to leaks, managed to strike the limits of Li-ion batteries with the S26 Edge. The company is presumably applying what it has learned to the Galaxy S26 Ultra, managing to thin it down further, but with a greater battery. Apple is pursuing a different approach. The iPhone Air will be for people who desire a thinner phone each year, and the Pro models are actually going thicker for greater hardware. However, whichever development across the smartphone market is forcing Samsung to utilize better batteries I'm all for it. The Galaxy S26 family will soon be out. But what does soon truly mean? Since we're talking about a January release of Samsung's forthcoming flagships, the impatient among us won't regard this as soon. They should cheer, though, as there were reports the S26 will pop up surprisingly late in March 2026. Right now, respectable leaks have stated that the S26 family will be announced in its homeland in late January 2026. Then, in mid-February 2026, the phones will begin shipping to stores and consumers who've pre-ordered. Overall, the assumption is that in 2026, Samsung's flagships will arrive a bit later than in 2025. The Galaxy S25 series was presented on January 22nd and was made available on February 3rd. Since January 22nd, 2026 is a Thursday. Samsung might very well skip the weekend completely and opt for a release in the last week of the month. I'd personally watch out for these three dates. 1. January 27th, 2026, Tuesday. 2. January 28th, 2026, Wednesday. 3. January 29th, 2026, Thursday. This indicates the S26 might hit the shelves as soon as February 10th, 2026, not much earlier. The schedule is not official for the moment, but it's considerably better than what earlier sources claimed. For example, there was a wild rumor back in October which suggested we should anticipate the S26 in March 2026 due to technical challenges and manufacturing delays. Then, in early November, another leak spoke of an eventual unveiling to be staged in San Francisco on February 25th, 2026. 26. The latest report, however, speaks of a late January announcement, so it appears that Samsung's schedule next year won't be that different from the usual. Traditionally, Samsung announces its Galaxy S flagship in January. This was another area of uncertainty for Galaxy aficionados. A while back, a rumor suggested the vanilla Galaxy S26 would be rebranded as Galaxy S26 Pro. That idea, however, was later scratched, so we'll most likely wind up with these monikers. 1. Galaxy S26 2. Galaxy Galaxy S26 Plus 3. Galaxy S26 Ultra Samsung probably won't debut the S26 Edge with the rest of the S26 series in early 2026. Last year, Samsung postponed the ultra-thin Galaxy S25 Edge, which finally became available in stores in May 2025, months after the regular lineup's introduction. This could happen again if the Galaxy S26 Edge isn't
wasn't scrapped in the meanwhile. Rumors concerning Samsung's ultra-thin phone are contradictory. Some say the phone is scrapped due to its predecessor's low sales. Others believe it'll happen, but later in 2026, for the vanilla S26, rumors predict a somewhat larger 4,000 mAh battery, some wireless charging enhancements, and Qi2 support. The S26 and S26 Plus are rumored to feature redesigned looks, including a new camera island. Samsung may return to a chip split strategy using the Exynos 2600 in certain markets and the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in others. Camera upgrades are believed to be minor, though a new telephoto sensor should boost low-light images. The lineup's biggest highlight may be Samsung's effort into generative AI, with prospective features and partnerships still unknown. So, if Samsung is only doing what Apple is doing, then it should make it easy to forecast what it will do in the near future, right? Perhaps. I'm not suggesting that Samsung does nothing new. It still creates outstanding Android phones, after all. But here are some predictions for future Galaxy phones. The iPhone 18 is supposedly receiving a camera with a variable aperture. Therefore, I bet that the Galaxy phone after that, the Galaxy S27, will get one too. Galaxy S26 Ultra is already getting a large aperture, hence the restored rear camera island, but the iPhone 18 is taking it a step further. Samsung won't want to be left behind. Meanwhile, the 20th anniversary iPhone Pro would reportedly include a display free of any cuts at all. The Face ID sensors and the front camera will be placed under the display. Therefore, I expect Samsung to do the same. Possibly the same year, months before the iPhone 18 does. The foldable iPhone, on the other hand, is supposedly going to include a significantly larger battery than the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Hence, I think that it's safe to state that the Galaxy Z Fold 8 will have a battery equal to or larger than the battery in the foldable iPhone. If the iPhone Air makes a reappearance, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if the Galaxy Edge variants came back too. I'm not mad about the innovation. In fact, I'm so thrilled that we're now seeing these phone companies focus on batteries instead of simply cameras and thickness. But the 200 milliampers jump is, frankly speaking, very disappointing. And it's unfortunate that I have to wish for Apple to innovate so that we get a better Galaxy phone in response. Because if Samsung keeps following Apple's footsteps, it's not all wonderful things. Remember the disappearance of the headphone jack or the charging brick from a box? The regular Galaxy S26 is turning out to be the most improved model in the entire lineup. Samsung is intent on making the base model more interesting by offering it features that line closely with its larger siblings. The display is one of the greatest enhancements. The S26 will reportedly have a 6.3-inch flat LTPO with a Moleed 2X display. While the base model has supported 1 to 120 Hz scaling since the S24, the change to M14 OLED technology this year delivers a considerable increase in peak brightness and energy efficiency ensuring the tiny screen is as brilliant and readable as the Ultra's. Performance maintains the same geographical split as the S26 Plus, with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 used in the US or China, and the Exynos 2600 used elsewhere. Crucially, the based S26 receives a hefty RAM bump, rising to 12GB across the board, with storage options starting at 128GB. This gives the smaller model a far more premium performance profile than earlier versions, which were generally limited to 8 gigabytes. Final thoughts. The Samsung S26 series is shaping up to be a polished progression of the S line, with smarter hardware decisions, more unified features throughout the range, and considerable advances in display and camera performance. The S26 Ultra remains the star of the show with its f 1.4 aperture and titanium frame, but the S26 and S26 Plus are becoming far more competitive and compelling in their own right. If these leaks hold true, the 2026 flagship range might be one of the most well-rounded and enticing sets of premium smartphones Samsung has released in years. We are expecting to see these new devices at a Samsung Unpacked presentation in early February 2026. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Zadie ES Tech for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching, this is Zadie, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, and peace out.